Welcome to the shortwave radio channel, and we're going to do a little bit of physics in this video. I'll use uh, a formula that will explain to you why a radio battery life has more or less time um, because of the simple physics around it. So we're going to take two radios and we're going to pretend that they actually use the same amount of power. So at full volume, the H501X is rated to be like something like three watts of power that it consumes because of its audio system in it. So let's pretend the same gen at full volumes also takes three watts of power to simply to simplify all of it. Um, it probably consumes less than that, but for the purpose of the demonstration, it will actually help you already understand why the San Gian will have longer battery life than the Texan if it consumes the same amount of power. And it has to do with a little something that people don't realize, but as radios became smaller and um, electronic circuits are able now to work under much lower voltage, uh, it creates another problem. The H501X runs on 18650 batteries. These are 3.7 volts. Okay? And the St. Jean runs on AA batteries, which, of course, means that for AA batteries, and we'll use rechargeables here, so we'll calculate that at um, the... 1.2 volt per battery, that means that um, you have 4.8 volts in the radio. And if you're using alkaline, you've got full 6 volts. These actually should last even longer than rechargeables. And the reason why is, well, how much current does it draw? This is the important number, the current. How many amps or milliamps do the radio draw while they're working? This is going to give us an idea of their battery life. So there's a simple formula for that. Uh, when we know the voltage and we know the um, watts that it consumes, then what we apply is a simple uh, math physics problem, which is you know how much current a radio takes or uses by simply dividing the watts which is three watts we've put the radios at three watts and divided by the voltage so say we put rechargeables we're at 4.8 volts roughly maybe a little more because a lot of the batteries have a little more juice than that that equals 0.625 so at the worst case scenario this San Gian will consume 625 milliamps of power now, that doesn't tell us how much time it's going to last. Well, say you put these rechargeables and that they're rated at 2,800 milliamp hour. It's always written on the battery. They're ratings. So, simple math again. 2,800 2, milliamps divided by 625 equals, you should have 4.4 hours of battery life. That's on rechargeables. Now let's do the same one. Let's do the same one, but with alkalines. Once again, we have to redo the math. Three watts divided by six volts. Look at how the battery, the, the voltage difference makes the um, amps or the milliamps lower. That's because the higher you have in voltage, the less current dry is going to happen. It all compensates with, with math. So now we've got 0.5. And alkaline batteries are, I don't remember their, their official ratings, but there's something around three to 4,000 milliamp hour at least. So that means that in alkaline batteries, let's put them at 4,000 milliamp hour. Alkaline batteries, 4,000 divided by 500 means you'll have eight hours on alkaline batteries. Once again, worst case scenario, full volume, 
and and maximum current draw because it's going to be more than that in a real world because your volume is lower and you know if you don't use a display light stuff like that uh, that all plays of course now the lower voltage of the texan plays against it and battery life and this is once again let's do the math we've got a 3.7 volt lithium ion battery and it's three watts so once again we'll do the math three divided by 3.7 volts equals 810 milliamps so here we don't see it all here dot 810 which means 810 milliamps at worst case scenario, scenario full volume uh 18650 batteries uh tend to whoops i'm gonna get my calculator back uh, 18650 batteries tend to have a rating of roughly, let's say, the best of the best will be rated somewhere around 20, 3400 milliamps hour. So let's put 3400. Zero, zero. Let's divide that by 810. And you get four hours of battery life. Once again, worst case scenario, but it shows you that you are not getting the same amount of power or the same amount of of time on both because of their differences in the battery they use. So that's why the small radios of today uh, sometimes, and especially on the H501X, which is a more power hungry because of its audio system, uh, it, it really shows. It's one of the comments I see all the time is mm, battery life isn't that great. And that's Another reason they put two batteries that you can switch from one to the other because it adds to the fact that both of them will give you more life. So technically with two of these batteries, when you switch, well, you'll double. You'll have eight hours total with both batteries in this radio. They knew that it was going to consume more power. That That's the reason why they put two batteries. But it just shows you that voltage is important and you know our good old radios of, of that all used you know d batteries double a batteries and stuff like that uh all, all have a difference an example also the texan h501x uh s s2200x sorry the this is the big big radio you can put d size batteries in there so let's say that the power consumption of the Texan um, S2200X is at 3 watts also. It has a huge difference because when you put your D size battery, you got 6 volts. So first of all, it's the simple math of 3 divided by 6. Once again, worst case scenario, it uses 500 milliamps. But you've got a huge advantage. D cells, D alkaline cells, have 15,000 milliamp hour rating. If you divide that by the 500 milliwatts you're using, you've got 30 hours at worst case scenario maximum volume of use of your radio. And that's why D cells last longer. They have a lot of power, but also the fact that, you know, if they use six volts. It also helps, lowers the amount of current. So I hope that kind of explains a little bit um, what is happening and why a lot of today's radios have a hard time giving us long life, long battery life, especially when they use lithium-ion batteries that only give 3.7 volts. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.